What's up, guys? How's it going? Mike the Tech here. And in this video, we're going to talk about the brand new release of Sunshine version 0.21. This update adds a ton of new features, support for AV1 codecs, and that's just kind of a game changer already in my eyes, and a bunch of new features. We're going to go over all those um, additions in the video, and then I'm going to show you how to actually install the new update of Sunshine uh, right after. So before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed, and that's a pretty bad number. So if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. Speaking of thanks, huge shout out to Miss Mo Davis. Thank you so much for being a channel member. If you want to support this channel and get shout outs in videos like this, click on that join button below. So on to what has changed. Well, it's quite a lot, as you can see on the screen right now. Um, but let's take a look at some of the biggest updates. First, implementing AV1 encoding and IPv6 support. As new routers are released, IPv6 is becoming more and more common, and this will enable uh, a lot less troubleshooting on some devices that are assigned an IPv6 address by default and perhaps even don't have an IPv4 address yet. So this is going to help a lot. But AV1 encoding is just an amazing update on its own. AV1 encoding is a brand new format. Not all graphics cards support it, um, but the ones that do, it is said to be a very, very efficient encoding standard. You can get a much higher quality video at a much lower bit rate. So this is going to enable some great... Um, uh, streaming performance. Hopefully, I'm looking forward to trying it out uh, moving forward. Speaking of performance with encoders, NVENC now has a standalone encoder as well as its own section uh, that can be configured. And when you configure any uh, settings that would actually change things that would show up in the NVIDIA control panel, it automatically reverts them back right after you quit Sunshine. So, very nice touch, uh, nice usability feature there. Lots of updates for controllers as well. We have uh, support for updated DualShock 4 controllers, and I want to say uh, like the PS5 controller because it has uh, touchpad support. It has touchpad support, it has motion controls, uh, motion sensors, I should say, to enable motion controls. It lets you know the battery state, uh, lets you control the LED. Anything that can be done on a regular controller, on a PS5 controller, I should say, will work now with uh, Sunshine, so that's super exciting. And they've also added support for the applications or context menu key, so we can use that on Windows controllers, or I should say Xbox Windows, I guess they are Windows controllers, right? Uh, Xbox controllers uh, with that option as well. There is now also support for automatically selecting the input controller type based on what you load in Sunshine, so that's a nice feature. And they've added a new package for Debian Linux, specifically the Debian Bookworm package. This will make it a lot easier to install Sunshine on Linux devices and uh, Linux hosts, I should say. And I'm going to make a tutorial on how to install uh, Sunshine on Debian Linux in a future video. Support for capturing rotated displays is now enabled, which is a nice feature for those who like to play old arcade games that are on a... Uh, vertical display, uh, sh shoot 'em ups and uh, top-down shooters, things like that. Lots of those use vertical displays, so it's nice to see that support coming in for the retro game lovers. And they've also added a port configuration table. This is very useful for those of us setting up our routers. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions about setting up port configurations and port forwarding and all that stuff on the router. So I've made videos on this in the past, so it's really nice to see that they've added a front end for this for people to actually see the specific ports being used. As for changes and bug fixes, there's quite a bit. They've reduced input latency by implementing input batching. I've gotten some comments about input latency, so this will hopefully help you guys out. And there's been not only quite a few bug fixes, but a lot of updates to the documentation. In the documentation itself, they've added a Linux headless SSH guide. This is super useful if you're in installing on Linux, uh, on a Linux ser server specifically, a cloud server or something like that, where you don't have a monitor connected, this will allow you to SSH into it and basically teaches you how to get everything set up with that headless installation. So let's get to the fun part. Let's install Sunshine. So I'm going to scroll down here and choose the version for Windows. So I'm going to go ahead and go to show all 26 assets and you'll see Windows installer here. Let's go ahead and click on that and the download will start. We're going to click on that file to open it up. You'll get a warning. We're going to go ahead and click on more info and run anyway. We'll hit yes on any user access control pop-ups that come up, and then we'll continue the installer. We'll go ahead and click on next here. Agree to the terms. Choose your installation location. You may want to change this, but I'm going to go ahead and leave that as a default and hit next. We can change the name of the shortcut if we'd like. We'll hit next here, and we'll leave all this as default. Let's go ahead and install the program. 
the documentation opens up and the uh, installation is finished. Let's go ahead and hit finish here and make sure that it's started. And yep, we can see sunshine here. Let's go ahead and click on that and choose open sunshine. Potential security risk. Let's go ahead and go to advanced. Accept the risk and continue. And here we can set our password. So I'm going to choose something really easy here and we'll hit login. And we are now running the latest version of Sunshine. Be sure to check out my other videos on configuring Sunshine and I'll make an updated version of that video very shortly. Thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, have a good one. Peace. Mike the tech, the architect, huh? Mike the tech, Mike the tech, yeah. Mike the tech, the architect, huh?